We've been waiting for this report by an independent lawyer to be handed in. Downing Street confirmed today that they received that report this morning. By my calculation, I reckon they've had it at least about six hours. But as we go on air tonight, it's my understanding that there may well not be any decision on Dominic Raab today. It does seem that the Prime Minister is taking his time to decide whether his deputy should stay or go. He has been one of the Prime Minister's most loyal supporters, helping him launch the leadership bid last year. Rishi Sunak. And he then stuck by him until that bid was lost. When Rishi Sunak did make it to Downing Street in October, he brought Dominic Raab into the government and made him Deputy Prime Minister. But in November, Dominic Raab asked the Prime Minister to open a formal investigation after a series of bullying allegations. The investigations expanded to cover eight formal complaints involving at least 24 people. And they come from three different government departments when Dominic Raab was in charge. The Foreign Office, the Department for Exiting the EU and the Department of Justice. He is always denied being a bully. I take it as an article of personal faith that we behave with absolute integrity and accountability. I am confident that I have behaved professionally throughout. His opponents have never relented. I'll give him some credit. The Deputy Prime Minister knows firsthand the misery caused by thugs and their intimidating behaviour. <laughs> Lurking with menace, exploding in fits of rage, creating a culture of fear and maybe even, I don't know, throwing things. If Dominic Raab is found guilty, if he is found guilty, then he needs to go both as a minister and as a member of parliament. He can't He's not fit to serve his constituents if he's guilty of these very serious allegations. They have stood together through bad times and good. Now Dominic Raab waits to find out what his boss has decided. And it really is going to be a big decision, Andy, isn't it? You say the Prime Minister might be waiting to make that decision. I suppose weighing up those repercussions of whether he keeps him or gets rid of him. Well, weighing up the repercussions, but also, I guess, basically deciding whether the case is proved against Dominic Raab, because in the end, it is the Prime Minister who makes a judgment on the basis of whether the minister involved in this case has broken the ministerial code, the rules by which ministers are supposed to behave. And we have the report that has been now handed in by this independent lawyer. But my understanding is that that will not necessarily pronounce judgment to say whether Dominic Raab is guilty of bullying or not. It will be much more about presenting the evidence, maybe putting it in context. In the end, it is a decision for Rishi Sunak to take as Prime Minister. And as I say, right now, my understanding is we may well not get any decision on that today.